In today's video, we show off a build so effective at rushing gens, the killers have no counterplay. By abusing stakeout and hyperfocus to blitz gens, and using stakeout to refill a 52 charge toolbox, we can make use of Deja Vu's info to break 3 gens and make games go by incredibly quickly. Make sure to subscribe to help us reach 2k and enjoy the video. We've got a cheeky little leg, that's a-okay with me. First chase is not really what we're after with this build, but hopefully you can get hit. He's just going to leak and let us crack on with what we need to do. Hold on, let's trail the Ash so he can't hit him with his frenzy. He's going this side of Shark. I'm just going to stand on this. Hold up. All right. If I just block this well enough. Nice. Good form. All right. Ash vaults. That's the nest coming in. Now just stand right here. He's kind of stuck. Nice. I think I'm dead here. Ugh! Ooh, that was rough. All right, let's just take the window back. I just want to get out of chase. I want to just get my gen done, to be perfectly honest. I think he logs us because of what we did. I don't think he's going to let that slide easily. I think he's just going to commit that side, right? Yeah, back into the power. Hold on, bring it back into the stun. He swings, nice. Okay, please let me get value out of my build. I think for once I'm not actually asking to be chased two seconds into the game. Still with a pallet at the front here. He's going to break immediately, so I'm just going to path it back in the direction of Shaq. He's standard 115, so he doesn't really have anything going from here. We've got this filler and a chain filler here. I think I might just step straight through into this next one. Hold on. Fog him on the corner? Okay. Um, nice. Okay, he's going to drop and let us get our build off here. That's quite huge. Okay, let's just mend up. Next to this gen, a 99%. I'm just going to start to try my best to blitz this out here. This looks like it's still one of our Dejong Hu gens. Let's just mend Collie. I think it's Nega Sleep Pills. I think, yeah, his frenzy seems ultra super duper long. And I don't really want to be fair hit. So I'm going to hold W right here. I'm in an awkward position. This Legion is genuinely strange. I think he's got a rough idea as to what he's doing, but his frenzy's just so unbearably long and it's hard to do anything with. Guess we just keep pushing the gens. We have full stacks of stake out here, and so we can just blitz up six stacks hyper focus. Yeah, his frenzy's still going, man. What do we do against that? Still, these hyper focus stacks are coming in clutch here. This gen should be done in zero time. Oh, he's gonna kick us off. Let's get the six stack. Vault. Hold on. Pop him on this. Oh, he predicted that. Okay, I guess we'll just get straight back on the gen. I, I was going to say stop it regressing, but it's ruined. We can't really do anything about that. I reckon we can still get this done, though, before we bleed out, right? Maybe James Sunderland takes it over with us. Yeah, nice. We're looking good. I'm just going to mend myself here before we do bleed out, because I'm playing in black and white here. Looks like he wants to chase us again, so I guess we step into the back of the map here. I'm hoping we still have this pallet. We do. He's going to swing through it. Nice. Okay, let's just hug tightly. Ah, oh, he just keeps swinging. He logs it. It's his kind of thing in the world. He's going to be BL1. I'm going to pull this rotation because he will just bloodlust us to death. Step it. That's not as wide as I thought it was. Interesting. Okay, I guess we can just run this. It's pretty short, pretty mind gameful, but he does have such ambitious swings. Okay. Let's keep it stepping on this one pallet. He's going to fake it or swing or something. No. Okay. We're two stacks stakeout. Two stacks scavenger. The idea here is we want to finish filling our toolbox from this gen. And we can go in and grab a save here. Do anything with our downtime, really. I don't mind what it is, but it would be nice to get a bit of value out of it. Okay. Let's just keep looping this. He's probably going to get his hit in. I just want to get my toolbox refilled before we do anything else, because that's 50% slowdown on the gen repair speed hits like a bit of a truck later in the game. I'm still not mending, brother. Okay, I guess I'll just pull back into this. He's ready for the stun. This guy's really not willing to let us blitz these gens, but I'm pleased that we still managed to get that cheeky and easy blitz in off the start of the game. I don't know what I'm happening here. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, that was terrible. Okay, let's run it to the bottom. Ah, he doesn't want to, does he? No, sir. Of course he doesn't. That's inconvenient in his way. I guess we just mend what we can, step it back to that gen, and just blitz. Oh, dear. That was nearly terrible. I don't think he's got ears, fortunately. 
Otherwise, that would have been catastrophic. All I see is red. I don't think we need to blitz this gen. They do seem like another one going elsewhere, but, you know, having more than one isn't going to go amiss. Okay, we're in the downtime now because of Scavenger, so I'm just going to take a heal and give a heal. Because there's no point in doing the gen significantly slower when we could be doing side objectives. Alright, Scavenger downtime is finished. We did burn two snake head stacks here, but it really, really doesn't matter. All we have to do is hit our skill checks on this gen. Dwight has proved myself. I've got my toolbox, Deja Vu. I got the ability to actually hit great, great skill checks normally. And I've got two stakeout stacks if I don't. So we can't really complain about the situation that we're in. Legion's coming out and it really doesn't matter. We're going to get this done in time. Slam with our pallet. I'll get this done. Those skill checks, I'm just going to come in and be really impact. Oh, he passed. Ash can pick us up here. And will. I guess we take the pickup. And then we assess the situation. If we can, I know it would do. But if not, three out is also A-OK. -okay. I just want to get this totem out of the way. That's half the bat. Oh my god, bro. Why is this build? Why is this always put onto me? What am I meant to do with this? Why do I see his aura? Oh, it's Kindred. Okay. Uh, hmm. What good position to be in? Ah, and he's seen me. Great. We have to run Shack for eternity now. So that's literally the only resource we have left. Alright, hit the fast bolt. We got to conk him on the corner or something. Nah. Oh. I hope he doesn't see us through that. Solid. Nice. Whoa. Okay, that was bad. I don't know why I did that, to be honest. I guess we just run Shaq then. Shaq's always pretty safe. Oh. Block LOS. Nice. Nice. Keep blocking LOS this side. Alright. If he TPs, we can just run through and take window, I guess. Ah, thank you. Oh, dear. Oh, solid. Good form. Okay. That's okay with me. I'm okay with that. I guess we'll just keep it stepping this way instead. Since when's that had a sound effect? Let's just pre-throw this, because that's just going to be obnoxious to get hit with. You can literally just shred through pallets like nobody's business. Pre-throw this one as well. I still want to get hit straight through these pallets, to be honest, because that's what's going to happen here. I need to keep holding W to this silly house here. I don't really have any resources left, to be honest. I can probably hit window here if I'm ambitious enough with it. Round back to the front. I'm genuinely working with scraps. Uh, Hold on. Let's just hit him with chest tech. Nice. Good form. All right. We can bring it back around for one more rotation. And then, I don't really know what else we have, to be honest. We're probably just dead. There is a tie longer here. He TPs out. Unironically buys us just enough distance. So we got to pre-throw this pallet. He's going to shred straight through it, likely. Oh. Oh, that's so bad. I didn't mean to get the near killed. Oops. He's still glazing me. I genuinely... I'm burning through all the resources here. I've got to pre-throw this one as well, because it's just a Larry. And that's just how you got to play him. He's finally dropped chase. Let's just blitz a quick gen over here by ourselves. We have our hyper focus. We have a couple of stacks of stakeout. And this gen should go pretty damn quickly considering we're the only one working on it here. What a nice little chase to start off. I was ashamed the near got good and then hit horribly through that window. I did see how awful that hit was. But if you look at this, the hyper focus stakeout is genuinely going insane here. We've got most of that gen done already. I'm just going to have to check spot this. I don't really know how to play it. Okay, we're going to have to take window. I'm annoyed that we didn't get that gen done in time. Because we could have. He just didn't come. Swing. Solid. Good form. All right. We're probably dead here. I don't see any resources. I'm literally just going to go for a... Nah. That's rough, but it was inevitable. All right. Solid. Cheeky little grab from the Larry. If he goes for the pick, we can honestly just sabo this hook that's here. Hold on. Let's just use the end of the toolbox to sabo here. He's going to waste the swing. He's probably going to drop here, right? Yeah, nice. That's actually an unintended use of this build there. Let's burn the end of these charges. So that, oh dear. Okay. I literally have nothing here. I don't really know what I'm meant to do. Best case scenario here is honestly just us getting killed. Because otherwise the team is just going to fall around us. We don't want to take hits. We don't want to waste time. We literally just need to heal, cleanse their goo. I don't mind taking another hook. We have this build for a reason. 
I'm not sure what that Nia is doing. I'd probably wiggle here, right? Wrong. Alright, we literally just need to get out of here. Because he's going to beeline it back over here. We've been... Oh, the tunnel's insane, man. Leave me alone, please. I am babysitter here, so I should probably make another rotation of this window. But this game's just going to be terrible, otherwise. I don't have any other resources. I need somebody to come in and take a hit or a down or something. To take our speed boost and keep it stepping. I just want to get out of LOS with him. I genuinely, I don't care where I go as long as it's not anywhere near where he is. I don't have any resources on this pallet, which I don't think I make. Oh, that's big. That's actually huge. Hold on. I need to literally just step it over to here. Hold on. Grab this. Has he got a setup in this tile? This is where we find out. No. Okay. Let's just start the blitz this gem. We have our deja vu. We have our hyper focus, our stake out, and we can recall our toolbox here with the scavenger. There's no toolbox in this repair. All just skill checks. Every single time, man. There's no counterplay in this killer. His pressure is incredible, and these solo teammates just aren't coping with it well enough. We come past here and hit a skill check on this. We recall our toolbox of scavenger immediately using that stake out stack. Nice. All right. Now the scavenger's on cooldown, and we have a slowed repair speed for 30 seconds. Now is our time to do all the maintenance jobs we need to do. We need to cleanse the biopods around here. And our repair speed deficit is almost up, so we're just going to do this purely based on the skill checks, and this gen should get done just that little bit quicker now. Okay, we're out of the deficit, but we are at one hyper-focus stack, so let's just play until we miss our hyper focus, and then we'll go back into the toolbox game and consider it we're soloing it. Another hyper focus stack coming in there, that's three. These skill checks are seriously, seriously rapidly progressing the gen. There it is. Let's go back immediately into the toolbox gameplay. We should be able to just blitz the end of this. I know our teammates are dying around us. Oh shit. We've literally perfectly progressed so many gens this game, and yet not been able to finish a single one of them. I don't really know what the players here. I can come in for this person on- actually, I'll go for the unhook first. Maybe we can heal as a two. Because otherwise we're just gonna fucking die. There's not really any counterplay to this. This guy's pressure is incredible and these teammates just simply aren't good enough to cope with us. We have the opportunity now to run it back over to Shaq. And we can blitz the end of this gem. We still have toolbox, we still have skill checks on the hyper focus. This isn't a totally lost game quite yet. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know why I speak. I guess we just... Use this, bash the biopod. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. He knows we're here now. We still have the pallet. But that's our only resource. That's really gonna be rough. Okay, Hatcher's not over here. Wait! Yes, it is! Oh my god! Oh! What a rough game, bro. Honestly, bathroom chain is never a bad one to get out the way early. Okay, let's just try and hit these hyper focus stacks. Without the stake yet, we managed to farm up one, but we need to hit them early on so that later on I count for more. Looking pretty good here. I don't think we, I don't even think we're going to burn the whole toolbox here, to be honest, because we're just hitting all these stacks and we're doing the Jeff. This gen speed is genuinely crazy. We finally missed one, but I don't think it really matters. I still think that we're going to get this gen done before the toolbox burns. So that's a okay with me. Good form. Nice. Okay, there he is. Let's just follow him around and get our stake out stacks up. I know it's normally not particularly very beneficial to just follow the killer around at the start of the game. But for the sake of this build, let's just run up here and fast halt this window. Maybe he'll trail us. Either he trails us or we just get more stake out for free. Okay, that's okay with me because now we are about to hit our third stake out stack. And we're going to get a fourth in a moment. I'm just going to swing around for the same, to be honest. We're getting stake out while we're sitting here, so we're looking pretty okay on that front. I think we have enough time to just get this gen done. Oh, there comes Scavenger. I don't know what our teammates are playing at here. I mean, we can probably make a Sabo play. It depends where the hook is. Okay, let's just chill here. Hold on. Okay, he works his swing. Drop down for a second. He's gonna miss. Don't know if he knows what he wants to do. He wants his pressure kept. He might unironically stick with us for a moment here. Yeah, he's not very good with the gun. 
I don't know what Jake's doing. Everybody's dead because of him. But we can get this pick from the floor. Nice. I don't know what she's doing, bro. Nice. Solid dodge. All right, let's just step around to here. If he picks, that's honestly the best case scenario here because everyone's just fucking killing themselves. What a random teammate. Don't know if he knows what he wants here. He's, I guess, just popping on the corner. Nice, good bomb. Okay, maybe another one. Ooh, I didn't actually expect him to hit a shot there, to be honest. He's not hit one on me all game. Is he committing? He is committing loosely. I honestly might just try for the hole, to be honest. Yeah, let's just bolt this. Pop around the corner, Crouchy pops in. Straight away for us. Nice! Nice! Good form! We're looking good, they are time to heal up now. We're currently mangled, so I'd honestly rather just start the blitz another gen until it runs out. We have our toolbox, we have full stacks of stake out, and as we can save them, and just hit regular great skill checks here, we can blitz this gen literally no time, like unironically, faster than the Jake's gen with the toolbox and two people on it. Look how quickly we've caught up to his gen with this insane build. These skill checks have honestly put us ahead of his gen. The three shot is not too terrible. We have perfect input. I know exactly what's going on with it as well. I think he's probably down there, right? Yeah. He's going to miss that shot. That's quite nice for us. Will he stick with us? Is he sticking? Yes. All right. Step around to the Mario pipe room. I'm just going to try to put as many LOS blockers and there's no way to dodge this unless he just misses a shot. Looks like Jake's going to tank the death here. But we're going to get this gen done, possibly even before he dies, because we have two stacks of stake out still. These skill checks are progressing the gen ridiculously quickly. We're looking good. Speed boost from Dejan, who's pretty nice time as well. That's the gate pop. Three man out's not an implausibility. He's camping out this gate. Yeah, he's camping out this gate. Let's just run and get the other one done. We've got a couple of stakeout stacks. They're not useful now that the gens are done, but if we end up having to heal, it does give us that little bit of bonus on the great skill check. So, I can't complain about having that. Okay, give myself that gate up, no one there. Ours is full open now as well. I'm just going to head back that direction, and if I see that they both get out, I'll just leave through that one behind me. Disappointing game for the Slinger here. He was so close to possibly even getting a 3 or 4k there. But this build is just simply too strong for him. There's not really much counter play. We're going to use this edge map wall here. And we can get out quite easily. Nice. GG's. We're going to start the gen off here. Hopefully he comes past and we might be able to get a couple of cheeky stakeout stacks. Just to make this gen go that little bit quicker. We're at four for three here, just because we're simply hitting the skill checks. We, okay, I was just going to say, we just need to pay attention and keep this going, but... I'm going to stop talking and just do the gen now. Oh, that is Tinker, I think, because this guy is very, very fucking quiet. Uh, nice, okay, I guess we just take Window here. Don't know if he kind of want to come into the chase or not, he is still in his power, so I would assume he will, right? Let's just run this side of Shack. We can take the window quite easily here. He doesn't really have the mobility to turn a corner that easily or quickly. I guess we just stop this regressing and find out. He stays where he is. We're going to get more stakeout stacks. Now, he's solid beamer save from the teammate there. We should just get this gen done pretty easily now. Please give me a skill check. Nice. Another? That's fine. We're looking good. Let's rob a quick skill check for free there. Solid. Okay. Back into the map, we see this is the current 3 gen. I think we want the main one out the way, because that's central to everything, and a pretty nasty one later on. He's chilling upstairs with the other guys. Let's just do the... Oh, hold on. I guess we just go in there and blitz this real quick with our perks. He stays where he is currently. We're going to get constant stake and stacks while we're chilling on this gen. All right, he's leaving the area. I guess we just do this normally for a moment. I think he is straight behind us here. I don't know. Yes. Okay. I'm going to leave that power call later and just hit this window confidently and easily here. Let's path it to the yellow harvester. I should make that right. Right, 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 right. Yes! Yeah, solid stun. Okay. I didn't look. I didn't want to look. I didn't want to know what was going on. Uh, okay, he's dropped. I guess we just head back. And start cracking up the gens again. Michaela, please don't sound like me. Okay. 
we make it to the upstairs. Okay, like, <laughs> he's nice. What's his plan? Okay, I think he's following me here. Is he? No, he's doing a little lap of the map. Oh, uh oh. Okay, that's a good enough spin. I don't really know what we have here. We have this singular pallet here. I'm just going to stand in the hitbox of it. Okay, he drops. Solid. That was a pretty awkward position to be in there. We can just get this done here if he goes to that pick. Nice. We're at one gen here. This build is seriously, seriously helping our team win this game. I'm going to just run it back this way. The three gens clean. And honestly, I'm not going to bother healing. Let's just get this gen done, dusted, and out the way. The hook's over there. We hit our skill checks in time. I don't think you can even make it over here as a 115 killer. If he checks the other gens, we get this done with the stakeout stacks. He does have Tinkerer. However, I don't think that matters. I think we should have this done before you can make it over here. Stakeout stacks coming in clutch here. Yeah, we get this done. This build is genuinely overpowered. I don't know who's... Okay, he's trailing the Sable. I reckon we just leave and go for that unhook. Because there's no way he's going to chase us while we're injured. When... There's a healthy person at his... Okay. I, I thought it was sensible only. You don't have to agree. Let's just run it back into the main building. I don't know what resources we have. We have this staircase. We can just run it up. Pull it up here. He's going to just defend these gates with his life, I think. We're not leaving this teammate here. I'm determined to get the full four out. We need to just beeline this and hope... I don't think we make this in time, ironically. This person is just dead. That's such a shame. All right, one final chase with Yoni, I guess. Let's just step them up to the top of main. We can pre-throw that pallet from earlier. I don't even know if he's following us anymore. I don't think he is. I guess we just get out with the rest of the team. Hopefully, I don't think that's Noed. We would know if it was Noed by now. Let's just take the hook. Take the hit, rather. Take the easy escape.